A depth gauge is a pressure gauge that displays the equivalent depth in water. It is a piece of diving equipment used by underwater divers. Most modern diving depth gauges have an electronic mechanism and digital display. Older types used a mechanical mechanism and analog display. Digital depth gauges commonly also include a timer showing the interval of time that the diver has been submerged. Some show the diver's rate of ascent and descent, which can be as useful for avoiding barotrauma. A diver uses a depth gauge with decompression tables and a watch to avoid decompression sickness. A common alternative to the depth gauge, watch and decompression tables is a dive computer. As the gauge only measures water pressure, there is an inherent inaccuracy in the depth displayed by gauges that are used in both fresh water and seawater due to the difference in the densities of fresh water and seawater. A depth gauge that measures the pressure of air bubbling out of an open-ended hose to the diver is called a pneumophathometer. They are usually calibrated in meters of seawater or feet of seawater. Topic. History Experiments in 1659 by Robert Boyle of the Royal Society were made using a barometer underwater, and led to Boyle's law. The French physicist, mathematician and inventor Denis Papin published Requiel de Divers's pieces Touchant Quelk's Novelles Machines in 1695, where he proposed a depth gauge for a submarine. A. C. Gauge for measuring ocean depth was described in Philosophia Britannica in 1747. But it wasn't until 1775 and the development of a depth gauge by the inventor, scientific instrument, and clockmaker Isaac Doolittle of New Haven, Connecticut, for David Bushnell's submarine the Turtle, that one was deployed in an underwater craft. By the early 19th century, the depth gauge was a standard feature on diving bells. Topic. Mode of operation With water depth, the ambient pressure increases one bar for every 10 meters. Therefore, the exact depth can be determined by measuring the pressure and comparing it to the pressure at the surface. Topic. Types Topic. Boyle Marriott's depth gauge The Boyle Marriott Escher depth gauge consists of a circular curved glass tube open at one end. It has no moving parts. While diving, the water goes into the tube and compresses an air bubble inside proportionally to the depth. The edge of the bubble indicates the depth on a scale. For a depth up to 10 meters, this depth gauge is quite accurate, because in this range, the pressure doubles from 1 bar to 2 bars, and so it uses half of the scale. This type of gauge is also known as a capillary gauge. At greater depths, it becomes inaccurate. The maximum depth cannot be recorded with this depth gauge, and accuracy is strongly affected by temperature change. Topic. Borden tube depth gauge The Borden tube depth gauge consists of a curved tube made of elastic metal, known as a Borden tube. Water pressure on the tube may be on the inside or the outside depending on the design. When the pressure increases, the tube stretches, and when it decreases the tube recovers to the original curvature. This movement is transferred to a pointer by a system of gears or levers, and the pointer may have an auxiliary trailing pointer which is pushed along but does not automatically return with the main pointer, which can mark the maximum depth reached. Accuracy can be good. When carried by the diver, these gauged measure the pressure difference directly between the ambient water and the sealed internal airspace of the gauge, and therefore can be influenced by temperature changes. Topic. Membrane depth gauge At the membrane depth gauge, the water presses onto a metal canister with a flexible end, which is compressed with increasing pressure. Movement of the side of the canister, the membrane, is transferred to an indicator pointer and amplified by a lever and gear mechanism. 
The pointer may push a trailing pointer which does not return by itself, and indicates the maximum. This type of gauge can be quite accurate. Topic. Pneumofathometer A pneumofathometer is a depth gauge which indicates the depth of a surface-supplied diver by measuring the pressure of air supplied to the diver. Originally there were pressure gares mounted on the hand-cranked diver's air pump used to provide breathing air to a diver wearing standard diving dress, with a free-flow air supply, in which there was not much back pressure other than the hydrostatic pressure of depth. As non-return valves were added to the system for safety, they increased back pressure, which also increased when demand helmets were introduced, so an additional small diameter hose was added to the diver's umbilical which has no added restrictions and when a low flow rate of gas is passed through it to produce bubbles at the diver, it gives an accurate, reliable and rugged system for measuring diver depth, which is still used as the standard depth monitoring equipment for surface-supplied divers. The pneumofathometer gauges are mounted on the diver's breathing gas supply panel, and are activated by a valve. The pneumo line, as it is generally called by divers, can be used as an emergency breathing air supply, by tucking the open end into the bottom of the helmet or full face mask and opening up the valve to provide free flow air. A gauge snubber. Needle valve or orifice is fitted between the pneumo line and the gauge to reduce shock loads on the delicate mechanism. Topic. Dive computer Dive computers have an integrated depth gauge, with digitized output which is used in the calculation of the current decompression status of the diver. The dive depth is displayed along with other values on the display and recorded by the computer for continuous simulation of the decompression model. Most dive computers contain a piezoelectric pressure sensor. Rarely, capacitive or inductive pressure sensors are used. Topic light-based depth gauges In biology a depth gauge can also be based on light. The brightness decreases with depth, but depends on the weather e.g. whether it is sunny or cloudy and the time of the day. Also the color depends on the water depth. In water, light attenuates for each wavelength, differently. The UV, violet greater than 420 nanometers, and red such different structures are found in the polychaete toria candida. Its eyes have a main and two accessory retinae. The accessory retinae sense UV light lambda max. <laughs> Topic. 400 nanometers and the main retina senses blue-green light lambda max. 560 nanometers. If the light sensed from all retinae is compared, the depth can be estimated, and so for Toria candida such a ratiochromatic depth gauge has been proposed. A ratiochromatic depth gauge has been found in larvae of the polychaete platineras dumerili. The larvae have two structures, the rhabdomeric photoreceptor cells of the eyes and in the deep brain the ciliary photoreceptor cells. The ciliary photoreceptor cells express a ciliary opsin, which is a photopigment maximally sensitive to UV light lambda max. <laughs> Topic. 383 nanometers. Thus, the ciliary photoreceptor cells react on UV light and make the larvae swimming down gravitactically. The gravitaxis here is countered by phototaxis, which makes the larvae swimming up to the light coming from the surface. Phototaxis is mediated by the rhabdomeric eyes. The eyes express at least three opsins at least in the older larvae, and one of them is maximally sensitive to cyan light lambda max. 483 nanometers so that the eyes cover a broad wavelength range with phototaxis. When phototaxis and gravitaxis have leveled out, the larvae have found their preferred depth. Topic. See also Altimeter, a device used in surveying, aviation, and mountain sports to measure terrain elevation. Bathymetry Depth sounding <laughs>